This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shave for five. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start shot. Sway in the morning, shave for five. We're about to have a moment. Oh. I'm calling these moments out nowadays. I take my leather off, HB. I like that. It seems always important that you describe the material. You know, before you, um, for the listening cool. audience, yeah, they could be nice in their car. Give them a visual. Paint the picture here, Sway, in the morning, always. Black leather hoodie. Yeah, you know, just, just you know nice, nice. Soft like, leather. Where's the sunnies? The sunnies the are here today? They, they're, my, they're my, okay. Should I put them? No? Yeah, mm. my, yeah. I mean, you said it's a you moment. Need to. It's yeah. a moment. Yeah. Brand today, you feel like sharing the brand of the sunnies or... No, you're just going to keep But the, the jacket is LRG. I, okay. I don't know if that means anything. But what about the Sunnies? Uh, did you do the P's today? Did you do the G's today? Did you do the E-Suns? Oh, I was to look at the case. Oh, the case oh, you did the V's wow. today. You did the V's today. With the case Special case moments, case man. Yeah, yeah, mm. you did the V's. Yeah, but the case is uh, really uh, an illusion. I'm doing the P's today. Oh, okay. You, you got the P's in the V case. <laughs> Always a plot twist, y'all. Pay attention. Okay, there you go. Should I go with the P's or the V's? Shut up. They going now. <laughs> they going now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get dressed up for the moment, man. When you think it's going to be your moment. Mm -hmm. I don't even think about moments. I know it. Mm. It's going to be a moment here because I know the first time this 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 artist, first time um, that I heard this artist, I thought I heard something different. It's one of those things like when you're running real fast and you catch a blur or something, you kind of stop and you look back to see what that was. Right. And you say, you know what, I'll catch it later. Mm-hmm. You know, and I had a moment with this artist like that. I stopped back to look at, what was that? I said, I'll catch it later because I heard something in her voice that I was like, T what, what is that? Mm -hmm. That's different, you know. And then, you know, my man Mike from the family here, the Shady family, uh, hit me up one day and he, and he sent me a text. And he said, man, um, this artist, man, the last Arfo Dodger, what kind of name is this? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like cinematic. Well, so like I'll movie. explain it to you. Okay, we're gonna come to that. Okay, I, th I thought it was a movie, a book. Right. Mm -hmm. I remember Jay Z had the uh, clothing line, Artful Darger. I remember that. I didn't, I, I didn't understand what that was. Well, you know, she she made something for the show, and I was like, really? Well, all right, give it to me, man. I mean, it coming from family. If it comes from family, we don't question it. Right. If Mike, Paul Rosenberg, anybody in the family send me something, I don't question it. It's like when Tech send me something, I don't question it. So he sent me this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, sway and I'm one and believe I'm a rip of the shreds. Teach other be how to properly turn up and twist up them dreads. Nobody, nobody knows that yet Yeah Now you're bitch don't kill my vibe Magazine can't be gonna win me Tryna get my own car But that's why you're sizing my whole party up in me But I just play my job The rent that's due next week So let's just bust this other line And stay on the ground and I see oh, yeah. Dream big, dream little, dream hard Like the roller coaster in my little thing park Like you never hold another little bit Right, you never hold another give a shit like, one kite in the flag or patiently waiting on what? Uh -huh. I did that side one direction that's up Riding that side, let me follow your butt, just do it Black and white keys on my feet Every step noteworthy, I'm a genie. in these streets I'm an alphabet, the new lip, the bitch in these beaches Like, say, I'm me, honey C-sick in a V-6, honey, no drama Me, ho, no drama No sign on me, Rio mama No stop me, bro, no comma I'm a I can't live with entitlement Meant to be titled a legend Some other environment One of its kind and ain't none of you Midges impressive I'm blessing Cause you need that Bless and peace, and I mean that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I get no sway, and I'm one and believe I'm a rip of the shred. What? Teach other be how to properly turn up and twist up them What? Yeah, I'm still a nobody, nobody knows that. Yeah. What? Yeah. Now what? Yeah. Bitch, don't kill my body. Don't kill it. Get the gun with me. I'm uh -uh. trying to get my own car, but that's party size, and my whole party up in Uh huh. But I just play my job. Do it. The red dress do next week. Do it. The last yeah. Arpo Dodger is here, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. Let me take my sunnies off now. I just did, did the sunny for the intro. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. First and foremost, you might you may be one of the most pleasant people I've met in the lobby. Wow. When I, do, <laughs> I like to do my, my, my pre-meet with yeah. folks uh, so folks can get comfortable with the energy. 
so you understand where it's coming from. But Heck yeah. she hugged me, happy being called mm-hmm. me Mr. Calloway. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I was like, shit. She did her research. I mean, not even that. I I grew up on you. You know, wow. I used to listen to you going to sleep at night when I was like seven years old. Wow. Like. Real talk, you've been in my life, world famous wake up show. You've been in my life for like my whole life. Wow. (laughs) And this is crazy for me. This is so crazy. (laughs) And I wrote that Sway in the Morning track in 2013 when I quit my job. Wow. Oh, that was autobiographical. That was for real autobiographical. Where were you working at? I was working at uh, an alt weekly newspaper in Humboldt County, just like as a graphic designer, Mm -hmm. right out of college. And yeah was inspired by this dude I just watched I can't remember which interview it was but uh-huh. I'm like yo that's gonna be me very yeah. soon Anywhere. someday that's dope. and you just you know you you manifest mm-hmm. everything that you think about that you speak about like it's being manifested so mm-hmm. just watch your words and yeah. be positive be positive <laughs> <laughs> yeah because that other should have come with it too seriously Word. okay so you were a graphic designer uh, yeah. at a at a at an alt weekly uh, newspaper so like Let's see. I have two degrees. I okay. have one in journalism with an emphasis in public relations and one in uh, anthropology. Ooh. Yeah. Anthropology. Physical Come on. anthropology. So um, you, what, what, how did you go to anthropology route? Have to remember <laughs> I told you as a youth I wanted to study ancient <laughs> civilizations. Hey, uh, and mm-hmm. I told, You don't remember That's me crazy. telling you this. <laughs> How I know all the dinosaurs? Because you be bored as shit at home on your couch watching the Neo Geo channel and all that stuff after charm go off. I was the only black kid in my elementary that said he wanted to be an anthropologist. Dang. How did, you, how did you walk up on that? So it was my last year of college, actually. My final semester, I was supposed to graduate. And I took this human biology and evolution class. And my life was completely changed. I just wanted to do forensic anthropology, actually. Mm. And this is before I I believed in myself to really mm. start pursuing this and thought I was going to be like bones. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but bones. But now, yeah. spitting. Now you spitting fire. Fire. With all that information from studying. Ain't no Ooh. telling us. That, that explains the vocabulary. Exactly. And, and the perspective, right? Well, that's interesting mm. because Shonda Rhimes, if you, when you go back and read a lot of you know, articles and information with her she was fascinated with reading medical books mm-hmm. just for no reason just would read medical books and studying and hence she ended up writing Grey's Anatomy yeah so Damn, you never so know you never know, know. Mass Artful Dodgers here now what, your family life well, you grew up in LA born and raised in LA so when you were seven you were listening to the world famous wake up show yeah so, crazy. so peep this I have a brother who's like 13 years older than me mm-hmm. his name is Bump so that's what like Jelly Hunt that's who it's based off of okay um and bump put me on everything really so like he would leave the radio on and like go out and go hang out with his friends and i would just be posted Mm -hmm. listening like what is this Mm -hmm. oh crap Mm -hmm. supposed to be in bed yeah. with the radio on mm-hmm. so you uh, listening to juice and supernatural and eminem and all day the barbershop crew mm. you know feel the agony mm-hmm. and ahmad and chino excel and God. thurston howe and my heart is Rask dying right now. you <laughs> listening funny. to all of that yeah, exactly exactly wow. all of that mc8 like all uh-huh. of that stuff my brother was on shout out to bump i don't know if he's listening to this yeah, but bump might be listening huh? that's my baby so you grew up in what town <laughs> Um, in LA proper, so I grew up like in Mid City, LA. That's like where Ty Dolla Sign is from, okay. and MERS, I believe, is uh-huh. from, like right mm. off of Pico. I grew up off of, like 17th between Washington and Venice. Nobody go to my mama's house because yeah. she's still there. She's still there. <laughs> Damn, you just gave up game. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I met a few got few a few guys from LA in the LA rap scene. I met on the LA streets. So we we'll invite them up here and we'll hear their perspective, their story on what was it like growing up in LA. You know, whether it was you know a J Rock, uh, Vince Staples, or you know Kendrick, or uh, Abs. So all of them have been up here and told LA through their their lens. Mm-hmm. What was LA like from your lens right. as a woman? You know, so my brother was really into like banging and all of that stuff. And my mom wanted to make sure that I didn't get into any of that. So my focus has always been education. Mm -hmm. Um, So my perspective, well, my experience, I would say, as a woman in L.A. was completely different, especially since, like, I had this brother who banged. So I I could walk down the street and everybody knew who I was. Mm. Nobody would mess with me. And if somebody did mess with me, all I had to do was, like, laugh and mention my brother's name. And it was done. Mm -hmm. So... 
I had this privileged lifestyle, but it was also really chaotic because there was like people getting killed. Like I, the LA riots took place right around the corner from my house. Okay. Wow. For mm-hmm. real. Like I sat in my window, I'm like four years old, watching this stuff happen. Couldn't go outside, see world on wheels on fire. Like everything was crazy. Mm-hmm. So yeah. But LA has changed so much. Oh my How God. So? How so? was it? How has it changed? Yeah, like, it's not nearly as crazy as it was 20 years ago, uh-huh. 15 years ago even. Is it a gentrification? Or Absolutely. You think people are... I mean, you go to my mom's neighborhood now, and it's like there's a lot more white people there than mm-hmm. there were before. It was like super um, diverse mm-hmm. and like a bunch of like Vietnamese, Korean, black, mm-hmm. Jamaican. Everybody lived in mid-city in the neighborhood that I lived in. But now like houses are over a million dollars. And that's crazy. Well, they're getting y'all out. Huh? They they trying. They're, they're trying, out, huh? but it's not happening. It's not happening. Yeah. Um The last artful Dodger. So did you? Were you subjected to a lot of tragedy, or were you able to escape it because you had this past? Or so let me just explain my name real quick. Okay. Right? So <clears throat> my real name's Alana. My nickname growing up was Lala. Like people still call me Lala. And Lottie Dottie uh-huh. was my other nickname. Well, they had to have a hip hop thing. Going. Yeah. <laughs> Dottie, we like to party. Exactly. Party. We don't bother nobody. nobody. Yes. Just, Just a, a man up on the mic. And when we, we rock, rock up on the mic, we rock the mic. Right? right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <But. laughs> That's my contribution. But okay, yeah. so um, La La. La La, Lottie Dottie. Um, and then the whole Dodger thing comes about from like me lucking out. You know, okay. I could turn in. Or I could hit up a teacher and be like, yo, I'm just having a rough week. I'm not going to be able to get my paper in on time. Mm-hmm. Bet you I get that extension without, like, getting my credits docked. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. It's, mm-hmm. it's just being genuine and being real and, like, artfully dodging. Mm-hmm. But um, I wanted to make sure that my stage name had my real name in it. So T-L-A-D, right? There's, mm-hmm. like, L-A-D. There's Lottie. Mm-hmm. There's La, you know, last wow. artful. Like, I'm my mom's last child, and I'm the artful one of the two. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. You deep. Wow. Damn, last time I thought you took that to <laughs> Right, there's a lot of layers to that. <laughs> See what school do, citizens? See what school right. do. See what education do. So then, like, don't play yourself. No, I love this. Mm-hmm. So, La, when did you go from consuming music to creating music? Ooh, I'd say as soon as I could speak. As hmm. soon as I could write. How about that? Okay. So I was like three and a half, four, writing songs. Like straight up in a notebook. We can call my mama right now, talk to her about it. Mm. What was the subject you talking about? Lollipops and Probably. sandcastles? <laughs> Probably. I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Yeah. But yeah, I, I've always been musical, even though no one in my immediate family is. Like, I haven't had any choice <laughs> but to sing and create. Wow, man. But we, we're going to hear some of that too. All right. Um, you got a new album. It's called Bone Music, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Bone, Bone music. music. Okay, now Anthropology. Oh, mm. Is it all tying in? That is so funny you mentioned that because I never even thought about that, honestly. Ow. Hey, we... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Um, <laughs> give, give her out. Give, give her out. Well, give, give, there you go. There you go. Thank okay. you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shirt off. Oh, Ooh, it's time. <laughs> oh. I tell you, they asking for it. <laughs> um, so, Bone Music was actually the idea of my producer Neil Bontali, who mm-hmm. I um, did the album with. Like, it's a co- collab album, and he got it from researching the web, and he found out that uh, back in Soviet era Russia, people like were placed in containment camps and weren't allowed to listen to music. So the mm-hmm. doctors would sneak the music in on vinyls and they could get like 10 spins from this. I mean, excuse me, sneak the music in on x-rays. Oh, okay, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm like, what? No, Bitch, you can't listen to music. Right. Anyway, um, <laughs> they would sneak the music in on x-rays and they'd get like 10 spins from these x-ray vinyls. And that was it. So wow. we decided to create this like, post-industrial dystopian universe Mm -hmm. that follows like a blue collar worker and it's really a love story that's what bone music is Mm -hmm. and it's it's definitely a story it's a movie like you can't skip songs sure you can if you want to the main single oofta is very like listenable over and over again by itself Mm -hmm. but yeah you have to listen to this album you like that HB. I, I like see, I see I how like you look looking at it. Yeah, the thought process is yeah. taking mm-hmm. you on a journey. It's a story. Yeah, it's, it's, a story. it's conceptual. Exactly. It's not just a bunch of random songs thrown in. Yeah. You will never get that from me. 
ever. ever. Everything is conceptual. That's Even if it to seems yeah. like it's random. Yeah. And like a bunch of random songs string to, strung along. Uh-huh. Yeah. So before we go into a, a song from that album, I'm going to play Oofta. Um, Fractures. That was, that was the EP yeah. about a year or so ago, right? Yeah, it came out 11 11. 11 of 11 last year. of last year. Do you hear the tie here? Mm. Bone music, Fractures. Fracture. <laughs> mm-hmm. Why did you call it Fractures? It was only three songs on that exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. So, Fractures was, it originally started as like pieces of bone music, just like what we were working on leading up to the album Mm. and we thought that those songs would be on the album but they didn't work well one of them actually we reinterpreted with natasha cometo Uh you're gonna hear that but okay yeah it's just a piece of bone music just a part of the universe can can i play something from fractures first yeah yeah jelly hunt oh jelly hunt isn't on that that isn't on fractures that's just a single that's okay so in demand in demand Demand. yeah okay we'll play in demand and uh, so you got this music out here, the last Artful Dodger. Give out your uh, social media because I want the yeah. citizens. I always encourage our listeners to hit you up directly. Please do. Hit me up on Twitter, at The Last Artful. Instagram, at The Last Artful. You use Snapchat? It's The Last Artful. That's a D-A. There it is. <laughs> but the other one's T-H-E-L-A-S-T-A-R-T-F-U-L. Get at us. Yee. Call us. You want to talk with her. 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning, shade 45. Just like talking over these keys. <laughs> now, have, have you heard anything quite like that sonically? No, I just, I literally just press follow on Twitter. Ah, oh, my no baby. Doubt, no doubt. Literally just press follow on Twitter. Love so, one. And I like the, I just like the idea that is thought process behind all of mm-hmm. it. And it ties in. And, you know, um, real quick, I just wanted to ask you, female artists, and I know, we're artists, so we shouldn't have to separate. But female artists um, seem to get thrown in, in these categories, in these mm-hmm. groups and everything. Have you been able to stay encouraged watching, just sitting back watching all of these years with different people coming out, different female artists, different, you know, you got the sexy, you got the this, you got the that. Have you been able to, like, stay encouraged to say, fuck it, I'm still Absolutely, put- because I'm nothing like any of them. Mm-hmm. Like, anybody, really. I mean, shout out to Young and May, because yeah. she's, like, getting so much attention right now for a queer black woman mm-hmm. and that's exactly what I am so she can get hella views and listens on her songs yeah <laughs> y'all just wait Calm down. <laughs> oh, y'all just wait no, no, no. so like it's really inspiring mm-hmm. to to see that and to see that somebody or people that aren't like you mm-hmm. and knowing that you can like I don't know actually be beneficial to the culture so yeah so. but can I say something to you though real quick Heather B that all glocks down video <sighs> I need that outfit. Do you still have it? <laughs> for real, because you fly as fuck, and you got bars for days, and I'm just saying, like, thank you. the real world, I watched you on that shit. I've listened to your music. Yeah, like, thank you so Check much shit, for being, daughter. for real, thank you so much for for being in this position and for being one of the first. Like, I, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, I still Aww. got that uh, Donna Karen sweater. Hey! You still, you still <laughs> no, Please let, let me borrow it. Please let me borrow it. I got you that. Gotta let like, her I be it. saving mad video clothes. Like, oh, I just be saving please. them. Two Whatever classic. my cousins don't jack, I, I save it. The last um, Artful Dodger is here. Bone Music is the name of the new project. Yeah, you yeah. mentioned um, how you're comfortable with your orientation and putting out to the public. And we had our friend Jesse Smollett from Empire yeah. on the show. We love him. And I asked him... Has it gotten to the point where your sexual orientation overshadows everything else that's a part of your identity? And I wonder for you, would you feel a type of way if people were more interested in your sexuality? Um, your music? I would definitely feel some type of way because you will never hear anything like my music. Mm-hmm. So if all you're focused on is who I'm fucking, that's an issue. That's it. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. my answer. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> if all you have focused on is who she's fucking, <laughs> that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue. That's but you know issue. what, too? When it comes to music, a lot of times I, f- I think what inspires people the most is, one, their environment, mm-hmm. but then, two, their love life as well. Right. And so, but I think that people look past, at least in my music so far, people have looked past my queer identity and they just, like, 
can feel it and they can relate to it because these are all just emotions that everybody has. Exactly. Exactly. Right on last off for Dodgers. But you know what? <laughs> I just think it's so many more stories that need to be told that are coming out of this culture. Oh, my God, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. By so many more people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's almost our fault sometimes because we, we kind of we circle a box sometimes and we don't see what's on the other side, like what's behind us. And mm -hmm. we've sheltered a lot of stories. I've always tried to keep, like, I love the fact that you're sounding different. Uh, when you see her videos, you can see she moving different. When I watch you move, it's like, I don't really see nobody kind of move what she trying to do. Mm -hmm. It's fun, it's sexy, it's silly, it's hard, it's all that stuff rolled up in one. You know, and you really don't know what you're getting with you. I'm only, what's your stage show like? Are you popping <laughs> right. out of a box or something? <laughs> like, you know, what do you? I may as well, just know I kill it. I like, if I have a DJ behind me, if I'm by myself with no music and just the microphone, I'm gonna have a great time. Yeah. I'm gonna wild out. Um, as soon as I have a budget, you just wait. Yeah, because <laughs> my production yeah. gonna be crazy. Yeah, you know I'm working on it. You working? working on? Don't put me on blast. So you are independent? <laughs> are you independent? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's independent? <laughs> you don't have big budgets. I don't have big <laughs> budgets so, exactly. Yeah, so so I'm be. very independent. Because if, if you if you if you're signed to a somebody. I ain't signed. I'm okay, very, okay. But you can see where it's going. Like we've always been a part of like the um, sound sets in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. and all. Like, we could definitely see you on those stages doing like the sound set out there in in Minnesota, right? Yeah. Moving to Minneapolis mm -hmm. and just different mm -hmm. things. And yeah, we we watch so many artists start out the way you're starting out, and then a year from now can't even talk to them. Mike Dang. Mills, what are you doing over there, man? I, I know you've been waiting on the edge for this. Yeah, I just have a question. Uh, you identified as queer. Uh, mm -hmm. You're not afraid to talk about your identity. Nah. Uh, this day and age with identity politics, we're straight off the election cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a vice president now in Pence who is very <laughs> conservative, uh, mm -hmm. especially with gay and queer issues um, and praying the gay away and of that type of nature. Like, what is your position now, and how do you feel as an artist, uh, as one who identifies within that in that culture, who's not afraid to express herself and to be honest and be vulnerable? What is your take on this election, and how do you feel? <laughs> um, I think I feel like half the country feels, which is like extremely disappointed in our society. I just can't believe. Well, I can believe it. I very, I very much can believe it. How about yeah. let me let me mm -hmm. let me take this back a little bit. Um, we were so blessed for eight years to have this president who was open and liberal and invited us into his home with open arms. And we needed to be, I don't know, kind of taken down from our cloud that we were on and come back to reality that this country still has a lot of work to be done. Um, so that's why I'm here. And that's another reason why my music is so important. And it's so important for me to be open about being queer and loving who I love so that other people won't be afraid and so that we can fight people like this new vice president. Yeah, yeah. fight these politics because it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And then we get beyond the fact that you're queer or, or uh, heterosexual, whatever you, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. person may be, and we just focus on this art. Totally. Because really it don't matter if you're queer or if you're heterosexual here mm -hmm. if you're Republican or Democrat or yeah. Libertarian or Green Party or you're from the Pluto party. Tea the Tea Party too. and then the Kool-Aid <laughs> Party <tea>. yeah. <laughs> whatever party you're from yeah. the Beehive <laughs> you, that party. Yeah. you know what matters here though if you got bars or not <laughs> bars I got a question for you can I do shit acapella can I do that oh shit damn oh, hey, we have to go back to asking this is there another gender question? No, 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 that's not. We're joking. He's oh, God damn, damn it. That's one Don't of play me. <laughs> God damn it. Well, Yo. before, you, before you go a cappella, okay, okay. Um, being from L.A., have you got a chance to uh, work with any of the, you know, main, you know, the main L.A. artists that are out there? Or who have um, you? Let's you? see. Not make, well, do you know Tehran and Aomari? I know they are. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to Tehran. Yeah. He's a good friend of mine. I've made some stuff with him recently. Um, I know some L.A. cats. I just haven't worked with many. Like shout out to Sir. Okay. Shout out to Emil Haney. Shout out to Emil Haney. I mean, Emil Haney. Yeah, okay. he's so dope. All right, cool. Uh, <clears throat> you ready to do this? Yeah. You know, we're going to have let her do acapella. Because the, the year is winding down, yeah. so it's not a whole lot of folks that's going to be able to come up here and challenge that. But 2017, you want to make sure you can rock to a beat, too. Right, oh, I Heather got it. B? 
Oh, I got it. You got both? She did a drop for Sway in the morning. We got to let yeah, that let me, we gotta let it slide. Okay, I want to hear on, what she has to say. Uh, anyway. All right, cool. Me, me. All right, go ahead. I got a few things. <clears throat> I know a place with all the girls like girls and boys like boys. For miles and miles you go nowhere, you won't find anything more comfortable. Child, living at your wildest, you. Twenty-something doing what you like. Home when, that's for you to decide. But you can do it at the free mount. Don't, 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 don't. Don't a twenty something doing what you like. Who win? That's for you to decide. You can do it at the free mount. Don't 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 how cinematic hot damn it. I can make a movie with your booty. Mm. Shit, shit. I don't mean to be offensive. I'm just trying to say I'm into all that shit that you've been doing. Yeah. Is it Pilates or karate? Huh. He do it the way your body break a sweat. Uh. Got me breaking for a picture. Got me itching for an Instagram and attic. You done made me into that. Yeah. Now I'm riffing that. Smoothing that. Huh. Leave your baggage. You won't need it. Now nah. I give you all you ever want. Give you all you ever need. Just believe it. Just believe it. Nah. Yeah, I'm finished. Moving there. Huh. Leave your baggage, you won't need that in nah. I give you all you ever want, give you all you ever need. Trust believe it, trust believe it. Wow. 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 <laughs> that was amazing. You got a lot of hoes, bro. What'd you say? You got a lot of hoes? No. Well, I'm I don't <laughs> I'm drinking my tea. Oh, okay. hey, hold up, hold up. We just said, okay. yo, Sway, you can ask anything. anything. <laughs> Sway, I was like, no, I'm not going to ask you everything. No, you can ask anything. Right. You know First what? thing she asked. Because I see on the charm, that's why. I mean, I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> you should do a song with Tish. Yeah, I was thinking the same Tish thing. Tish Hyman. She's yeah. dope. Tish Hyman is yeah. dope. And she came up here and sat in this very seat you're sitting in, and we were just blown away. And that same vibe, man, that same energy, that mm -hmm. same art, that same passion. I hear it, man. It's Thank so you. dope. So Thank dope, you. man. Yeah. I think everybody, it's going to be hard to put you in a box. Well, that's I don't think see, nobody's going to be able to categorize you. But, and that's the beauty of it. Yes, it like, is. Like, I think yes, those boxes is. were created to help folks who didn't get it get it you know what i mean and so to make us fearful like make us scared once yeah. people put you somewhere you scared to move outside of it you yeah. know it's just like so yeah. it's to put us in the fear too so but we, salute to you sound great we, Thank we, you. we're creating a new box you know what i mean mm. plus we both like box so this, <laughs> how this works out hey, hello, hello. Hey. Hey. See, yeah, we hanging yeah. out. That's we hanging out. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we got John on the line from PA. John, what up, man? <laughs> yo, yo, what up, Sway? What up, family? What up, What's good? Hey, ain't nothing, man. I just wanted to say, yo, yo, awful Dodger, man. That was soulful, yo. Yo, thank you soulful. so much. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I could definitely rock. I look forward to, you know, looking you up and, and definitely hearing more of that, man. I think a lot of female artists could take away from, from your creativity uh, coming up. Like you said, it's, it's you know, the education, you can really see where it comes into play as far as, you know, how you put the, the song together. So I can really appreciate that in hip-hop. Fuck, thank man. you so much. Education. Like, a lot of artists ask me, man, what can I... John, you're a citizen, by the way. And if y'all want to talk with um, Artful Dodger, the last Artful Dodger, 888-742-3345, call us right now. Meet somebody you never spoken to. But uh, um, I always tell a lot of folks, a lot of artists, like, they say, well, what can I do to get better? I mm -hmm. say, man, you know, collect information. Collect experiences. Read. Right. Read yes. a little bit. You, know? read. you ain't got to yeah. believe everything you read, but read it and decipher it for yourself. Right. And, and see how you can utilize those things you learn and, and make it inform your music. Mm -hmm. And not just with the content, just the even the approach. Right. You know, having that comprehension level on how to structure songs that might be alluring to those who are listening. Yeah. Most importantly is um, is something you like for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what I get from your music. Definitely. Um, is that, well, hopefully you will like it, but I know I like what I'm doing. <laughs> exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. I mean, if I don't love it, there's no way I'm going to record it in the mm -hmm. first place. Uh-huh. And anything that I put out, I put my heart into. Yeah. So... Yeah. Yes, that's You're what's right. up. Okay, I'm not <laughs> mad at that. 888-742-3345. Uh, we got Rob on the line from L.A. What yeah, up, Rob? Yeah, Rob. 
up, hey, what's going on? La la. La la, yeah. Hey, 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 what's up? This is Hob. This is Bump Big Home, but this is DJ oh, Cousin. Oh, shit. Well, That's what's going on? <laughs> this, 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 oh, my this, God. This, this one, yeah, this, this is Big Hob. It's your big homie. What's up, Hob? Shop. Long time no what's see. Going, How yeah. you doing, hey, baby? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank I'm you. Do your thing. Thank Sway, you. if you knew where she came from and where she had, dog. Man, you be proud of me. Hey, hi, yeah. hey, but listen, man. She's real, she, DJ hug for me. She, she's real humble about it. Tell us. Paint the picture. Where did she come from, man? Oh, her brother, one of my young Gs. Mm-hmm. Very active, but a, a, a very good man. But the environment that she came up in and her mama kept her out of wasn't all that great. We from, we from Adams and Crenshaw. We from 21st Street and 25th Street, mm-hmm. and it goes down. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, it's, it's, it's easy to get caught up. But the people don't understand it's just easy to stay out the way. And she stayed out the way. Man. There it is. Right. All the love to you, baby. All the love. Can you please yeah. give DJ a hug for, for me, for real? I just, got the, I just got off the phone with him and told him he was on the radio. Oh, my God. Yo, Rob, tell DJ. He on, he's on the phone too. with your brother right now. Oh, All my right. God. Oh, and DJ from, from Oakland, Sway. Oh, originally. my God. Oh, from <laughs> Oakland. Oh, man. Yeah. Tell DJ I said, he's, what he's up, Oakland. man? Hey, he's Bay Dragon. What's your brother's hey. name? Bump. Yeah, tell Bump I said, what it do? Ah. Yo, Rob got out of there. He, 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 he don't stay on the phone too long. Yeah, Rob it's was crazy. Like, that, go ahead. DJ actually saved my brother's life. Really? Mm. Um, my brother, in 2008, he <laughs> fell down a staircase. Well, he was trying to keep a girl from falling down the staircase, so he, like, caught her. And they rolled down. She hopped up, and she was fine. He got up. DJ ran, ran down the stairs and, like, held him. He broke his neck. And had DJ not held my brother... My brother would have died. So shout out to DJ. I love you so much. Oh, real. wow. DJ's from Oakland? DJ's from L.A., but he's in Oakland now. Oh, okay. He went to go get some more games. <laughs> I already know what he did. Rich is on the line from Atlanta. Hey, Rich, what's good? finding out a lot about you right what's now. What's good? Yo, first and foremost, like everybody said, the education is clearly present, and I, and I definitely appreciate it. I'm from the A, and I rock with my music, but, you know, you got to switch it up from that mumble rap shit. and. <laughs> You need to be out there on the airwaves on regular radio, real talk. Hey, let them know. Um, Request you, girl, please. But what I wanted to say is, you know, I watched what happened with Young and May, um, and she's getting a lot of attention, like you mentioned, but it's not for her music. And I just, I would rather see the, all the attention, not even the majority, just the attention be on her music. So I didn't know if you were more comfortable with just going out there and telling people you didn't have a preference or that you're not commenting or just leaving your sex life because there are so many haters still, like you mentioned. I mean, her vice president is a major hater for no reason. <laughs> got no, got no, you know, direction. Ain't nobody gay towards him, but he want to be a hater. So would you feel more comfortable just going out there and spitting your bars? Because, girl, you got some straight fire, not to mention your vocal ability, Damn, just bars. You. I got bars, you right. Um, there's there's no there's no reason to like to hide away from who I am though, you know. That's like saying I'm not black. That's mm-hmm. like saying I'm not a woman. Like mm-hmm. I am America right here. I'm a black queer woman and I'm killing it. Come yeah, on. Yes. So there's no way I wouldn't just put myself out there just one hundred percent. Why would I hide anything? But the music is definitely the focus, and people are going to see that at the end of the day. Also, if you just look at my punk ass, they're going to have questions. So why not just answer it off bat? Like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the braid that's coming out of the Nick Cap. I didn't know if that meant a neighborhood or something. <laughs> <laughs> you get out of here. What you doing? I'm taking over this show. Uh, it's your show, girl. All right. Brian in North Carolina. Go ahead. What would you like to say? Yep. Yo, what's up, man? I'm a big fan. Sway, Heather B, Tracy oh, G. Man, I'm man. a what up? Though. What up, Yo, brother? what's up? Hey, real quick. Heather B, you like the new Martin Lawrence because I listen to you in the evening, too. You go from Sway in the morning to the happy hour like, damn. Yeah. Me and Dev Jam and Martin. But work. anyway, <laughs> off of Dodgers, I love you. I, I think you like the next evolution of Lauren Hill a little bit. Wow. You, know, you got the vocals. And then you spitting that heat, that fire. And, you know, I'm going to be looking for your stuff. Yo, I'm going to be fast. Can I thank you so much? Lauren and I have the same birthday, just so you know. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Shout out to you. A lot of pressure, though. All right, yeah. B, thanks for your call, man. Uh, we got Tania's on the line from the Bay. What up, Tania? Yeah. T, 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 T. Yeah, it's, t- it's Tania. Tania. Tania hey, from the Bay. What up, Tania? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to give a shout out to Homegirl. Uh, she's doing her thing, you know. 
for, I'm an independent artist myself, Tootsie the Rapper. And oh, uh, I just, Tootsie yeah, I just uh, think it's dope how you're, you're really, you know, expressing yourself the way that you are and keep up the good work because there's a lot of people, young people out there, you know, who do feel the same way that you feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a good that's a good thing that what you're doing. So keep up the good work. Thank you, TT. TT the rapper. Yeah. What's your new single? Um, I'm I'm working on my EP right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm working. All so right, get it's, at it's, it's going to be out. Get at us. Make us hey. some bars. Yo, let me hear let me hear well, something real quick. Let me hear something real quick. Spit, TT. Go ahead. All right. All right. Oh, she Wally Wally took you from the bay. I never gave a fuck on what a hater had to say. Talking all that shit, don't ever bring it my way. You niggas so childish, you always want to play. Man, don't call me shoddy, and no, I ain't your fucking bae. I'm standing too tall, so y'all niggas gonna behave. Show me some respect. Either way it goes, you dealing with a queen, but you steady chasing hoes. I'm steady sipping, weighing out the highs and all the lows. I'm knocking down walls, but I'm steady taking blows. I carry slick words, and they're really fucking heavy. But y'all can't handle real, I'll kill a beat like a machete. I'm a tough one, and you know that I'm pretty. Only real bitches, yeah, they really understand me. I wish a nigga would. Fucking try and test me. I'm sending up prayers so you know the Lord gonna bless me. Feeling on my body, feeling on my booty. He told me, girl, you're looking good. I'm trying to get that coochie. Oh. Whack oh. ass game, got you zooming in the movie. Tootsie don't get down like that. Thought you knew me. I'm fucking up this beat. Why you fucking on the streets? But I can be a freak, but I'm fucking on my feet. And I can go both ways if you really, really ready. Hey. Nerd ass nigga, call your bitch and tell me if you're ready. T.T. the rapper, y'all give it up. T.T., I pulled, I pulled you out once you said I'm fucking up this beat because it, it was acapella. <laughs> <laughs> T.T. was in her flow. Let T.T. live. Let T.T. live. Let T.T. live. Let T.T. 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 Let
This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shave for five. Wake your fuck ass up. That cross star child. Sway in the morning, shave for five. We're about to have a moment. Oh. Okay. I'm calling these moments out nowadays. I'll take my leather off, HB. I like that. It seems always important that you describe the material. You know, before you, um, for the listening cool. audience, yeah, they could be nice in their car. Visual. Give them a visual. Yeah. Paint the picture here, Sway, in the morning, so always. Black leather hoodie. Yeah, you know, just, you know nice, nice. Soft like, leather. Where's the sunnies? The sunnies the are here sunny? today? They're, they're my, they're my, okay. Should I put them? No? Yeah, mm. my, yeah. I mean, you said it's a you moment. Need to. It's a moment. moment. Brand sunny. today, you feel like sharing the brand of the sunnies or no, mm -hmm. you're just going to keep it? Well, the, the jacket is LRG. I, okay. I don't know if that means anything. But what about the sunnies? Did you do the P's today? Did you do the G's today? Did you do the E's sons? Oh, no, I was going to look at the case. Oh, the case oh you did the V's wow, today. The you did the V's today. With the case Special side. moments, the case man. Side. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you did the V's. Yeah, but the case is uh, really uh, an illusion. I'm doing the P's today. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got the P's in the V case. Always a plot twist, y'all. Pay attention. Okay, there you go. Should I go with the P's or the V's? Shut they going now. <laughs> they on now? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to get dressed up for the moment, man. When you think it's going to be a moment. Mm -hmm. I don't even think about moments. I know it. Mm. It's going to be a moment here because I know the first time this 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 artist, first time um, that I heard this artist, I thought I heard something different. It's one of those things like when you're running real fast and you catch a blur or something, you kind of stop and you look back to see what that was. Right. And you say, you know what, I'll catch it later. Mm hmm you know, and I had a moment with this artist like that. I stopped back to look at, what was that? I said, I'll catch it later because I heard something in her voice that I was like, what, what is that? Mm -hmm. That's different, you know. And then, you know, my man Mike from the family here, the Shady family, uh, hit me up one day and he, and he sent me a text. And he said, man, um, this artist, man, the last artful Dodger. What kind of name is this? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like cinematic. So, like Cruel, mm. you know, feel the agony mm -hmm. and Ahmad and Chino XL and God. Thurston Howe. And My heart is Rats dying right now. Pass. You <laughs> listening funny. to all of that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly wow. all of that. MC8, like all oh. of that stuff. My brother was... On. Shout out to Bump. I don't know if he's listening to this. Yeah, but, Bump might be listening. Huh? But that's my baby. So you grew up in what town? <laughs> um, in L.A. proper. So I grew up like in Mid City, L.A. That's like where Ty Dolla Sign is from. Okay. And MERS, I believe, is uh -huh. like right off of Pico. I grew up off like 17th between Washington and Venice. Nobody go to my mama's house because yeah. she's still there. She's still there. Damn, <laughs> you just gave up game. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I met a few got few a few guys from. L.A. and the L.A. rap scene I met on the L.A. streets. Wow. So we, we'll invite them up here and we'll hear their perspective, their story on what was it like growing up in L.A. You know, whether it was, you know, a J-Rock, uh, Vince Staples, or, you know, Kendrick, or uh, Apps. So all of them have been up here and told L.A. through their, their lens. Mm -hmm. What was L.A. like from your lens right. as a woman? You know, so my brother was really into, like, banging and all of that stuff. And my mom wanted to make sure that I didn't get into any of that. So my focus has always been education. Mm -hmm. um, so my perspective, well, my experience, I would say, as a woman in L.A. was completely different, especially since, like, I had this brother who banged. So I, I could walk down the street and everybody knew who I was. Mm. Nobody would mess with me. And if somebody did mess with me, all I had to do was, like, laugh and mention my brother's name. And it was done. Mm -hmm. So... I had this privileged lifestyle, but it was also really chaotic because there was like people getting killed. Like, I, the LA riots took place right around the corner from my house. Wow, okay. like, for yeah. real! Like, I sat in my window. I'm like four years old, watching this stuff happen. Couldn't go outside. See World on Wheels on fire. Like everything was crazy. Uh -huh. I'll explain it to you. Okay, we're gonna come to that. Okay, I, th I thought it was a movie, a book. Right. Mm -hmm. I remember Jay Z had the uh, clothing line. Artful Dodger. I remember that. I didn't, I, I didn't understand what that was. Well, you know, she she made something for the show. And I was like, really? Well, all right, give it to me, man. I mean, it coming from family. If it comes from family, we don't question it. Right. If Mike, Paul, Rosenberg, anybody in the family send me something, I don't question it. It's like when Tech send me something, I don't question it. So he sent me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get no sway in the morning, believe I'ma rip it to shreds. 
each other be how to properly turn up and twist up them dreads. Yeah, I'm sure nobody, nobody knows that yet. Yeah. Now, y'all, bitch, don't kill my vibe, man, cause ain't kids gonna win me. Trying to get my own car, but that's why you size my whole party up in me. But I just play my job, and rent that's due next week. So let's just bust this other line and stay on the ground and I see. Dream big, dream little, dream hard Like the roller coaster in my little thing park Like you never hold another little bit Right, you never hold another give a shit Like one kite in the flag or patiently waiting on what? I did a side one direction that's up Ride to the side, let me follow your butt Just do it, black and white keys on my feet Every step noteworthy, I'm a G in these streets I'm an alphabet, the new myth, the bitch And these bitches like say I'm me, honey Seasick in a V6, honey, no drama Me, ho, no drama, no sign on me, Rio mama No stopping me, bro, no drama, I'm a Live with entitlement, meant to be titled a legend Some other environment, one of its kind And ain't none of you bitches impressing Blessing, cause you need that Blessing, peace, and I mean that Yeah, 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 yeah. I get no sway and I'm winning Believe I'm a rip it to shreds What? Teach other be how to properly turn up And twist up them What? Dreads. Yeah, I'm still a nobody, nobody knows that yet. Yeah. What? What? Don't kill it. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do it. Do it. The last Harpo Dodger is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me take my sunnies off now. I just did, did the sunny for the intro. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. First and foremost, you might you may be one of the most pleasant people I've met in the lobby. Wow. When I, do, <laughs> I like to do my 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 pre meet yeah. with folks uh, so folks can get comfortable with the energy so you understand where it's coming from. But Heck yeah. she hugged me, had but being called mm. me Mr. Calloway. <laughs> oh wow. I was like, shit, she did her research. I mean, not even that. I I grew up on you. You know, I wow. used to listen to you going to sleep at night when I was like seven years old. Wow. Like Real talk, world you've been in my world. life, world famous wake up show. You've been in my life for like my whole life. Wow. <laughs> and this is crazy for That's me. Different. This is so crazy. <laughs> and I wrote that Sway in the Morning track in 2013 when I quit oh, my job. Wow. Oh, that was autobiographical. That was for real autobiographical. Where were you working at? I was working at uh, an alt weekly newspaper in Humboldt County, just like as a graphic designer, mm-hmm. right out of college. And yeah was inspired by this dude I just watched. I can't remember which interview it was, but uh-huh. I'm like, yo, that's going to be me very yeah. soon, and someday. That's dope. And you just, you know, you, you manifest. Mm-hmm. Everything that you think about, that you speak about, like it's being manifested. So mm-hmm. just watch your words and yeah. be positive. Be positive, <laughs> yeah, because that other should have come with it too. Seriously. Word. Okay, so you were a graphic designer uh, yeah. at, a, at a... At an alt weekly newspaper. So like... Let's see. I have two degrees. I okay. have one in journalism with an emphasis in public relations and one in uh, anthropology. Ooh. Yeah. Anthropology. Physical Come on. anthropology. So um, you, well, well, how did you go to anthropology route? Heather, remember <laughs> I told you as a youth, I wanted to study ancient <laughs> civilizations. Hey, uh, and mm-hmm. I told, You don't remember That's me crazy. telling you this. <laughs> How do I know all the dinosaurs? Because you be bored as shit at home on your couch watching the Neo Geo channel and all that stuff after charm go off. I was the only black kid in my elementary that said he wanted to be an anthropologist. Dang. How did you you walk up on that? So it was my last year of college, actually. My final semester, I was supposed to graduate. And I took this human biology and evolution class. And my life was completely changed. I just wanted to do forensic anthropology actually mm. and this is before i i believed in myself to really mm. start pursuing this and thought i was gonna be like bones <laughs> mm. yeah but bones, now yeah. spitting now you spitting fire, fire with all that information from studying there ain't no Ooh. telling us that that explains the vocabulary exactly and, and the perspective right well that's interesting because shonda rhymes if you when you go back and read a lot of you know, articles and information with her she was fascinated with reading medical books mm-hmm. just for no reason just would read medical books and studying and hence she ended up writing Grey's Anatomy yeah so Damn, you never so know you never know, you never know. last know. awful Dodgers here now what your family life well you grew up in LA born and raised in LA so when you were seven you were listening to the world famous wake-up show yeah so crazy. so peep this I have a brother who's like 13 years older than me mm-hmm. his name is bump so that's what like jelly hunt that's who it's based off of okay um, and 
Bump put me on everything, really. So, like, he would leave the radio on and, like, go out and go hang out with his friends. And I would just be posted, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. listening. Like, what is this? Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. Mm-hmm. Supposed to be in bed yeah. with the radio on. Mm-hmm. So, so you listening to Juice and Supernatural and Eminem. All day. And All day. The Barbershop crap. 